Welcome back, it's me, Jenny. How are we all doing today? Hopefully we're all doing awesome. So we are going to create more embellishments. So, last night I was Googling vintage images because I am thinking of mailing out some Halloween cards to some of my family and friends. And in my mind, I was visualizing the card to have some kind of like a vintage theme so i started googling on vintage halloween images and i came across this really lovely image that i thought was just beautiful gorgeous and so what i did was I, i'm not going to use this one for mailing out my halloween cards but I do like the look of this um, image so I decided to make some embellishments out of this okay so I will link at the bottom of the video where I found this image and you can basically just print it um, I use my regular color printer I didn't use anything else special I use regular um, paper like you know printer paper and I just trimmed out my image okay so here I have one that I already trimmed out that we're going to do together here I have one that I'm going to show you how I trim it out it's very simple I don't think I need to show you guys how to do this but I do want to show you um, from start to finish on how I created these embellishments so that's why I am doing this okay so you're just gonna trace your image okay and there are tons tons of free printable images online so make sure you guys google free printables and you'll find it okay so you should get something like this once you're done trimming your adorable little image isn't that the cutest thing ever i love that cat so cute okay so once you do that what we're going to use for our embellishments well we're going to use cupcake liner as always you know guys know me i love my cupcake liner so we're going to use that we are going to also use some ribbon some twine to make little bows um i have my hot glue going for me in the side and what i also did was i went into my um i had a i have a dictionary book that i like to use for scraps and you know just to have there so i print i punched out two circles out of uh, dictionary pages because I kind of feel that that kind of gives it like a very vintage look to the embellishment so I did that okay so I have that here on the side as well so what I did for the cupcake liner is not what I normally do with my embellishments I did something a little bit different in this time so how I got this little here how we got this little adorable background is what I did with my cupcake liner is I just, from one side of the cupcake liner, just open a little, see, I cut it open on one side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go around and cut out this part of the cupcake liner, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do this. It's very simple. Just go around your cupcake liner. Okay, it's just simple and really very easy. And then once you've done, you should get something like this and you should get this part. This part you can always save it for like a, um, I don't know, pocket letter or something like that. All right, so then once you finish, you're gonna, you should get something that looks something like this. You're going to use your hot glue and you're going to glue this down together with each other, okay? So let's do this. You're going to glue it down with hot glue. You're going to just basically um, glue it together like this, okay? 
and you're going to create a little kind of like a little comb like that okay <coughs> oh boy hold on okay <clears throat> excuse me so once you have this created you're going to squish this down and you're going to <coughs> oh boy hold on you're going to squish this down <clears throat> and you're going to scrunch it scrunch it scrunch it until you put it and you're going to kind of like go towards the middle and you're going to get something like this okay see that have a circle okay I'm gonna put some hot glue on this circle and I'm going to add this circle to the center of the liner and this is gonna this is what's gonna keep my circle together just like that okay and you should get something like this okay I'm gonna do it one more time because we have two of these that we gotta um, actually put together so let's do it one more time so you can see, this is my cupcake liner. I'm gonna cut it a little bit here and I'm gonna go around. You're basically using kind of like the little, I mean, I would call it in my terminology, obviously it's not the correct one, but <laughs> in my mind, okay, I would call this probably like the little skirt of the cupcake liner, okay? You're going to, once you get that, you're going to add it together, bind it together with your hot glue. Okay, just like that. And there you have it, okay? Now, once we do that, squish it down. Scrunch it in the center and try to put it come towards the center of your liner and you should get something like this see that get your circle hot glue your circle to the center and you're going to hot glue this onto your cupcake liner and you should get something like this see that Okay, very good. So that is done, okay? Now, if you want to be a little bit more, you know, you want this to look a little bit more better, just add circles in behind the back of it. Like, for example, you can add this circle and you can add this circle to kind of make it look more neater, okay? So let's do that. Let's add some circles on the back of the cupcake liner just so it can look a little bit more cleaner and it doesn't look messy okay and there you have that I mean in reality this is not gonna show because you're basically gonna be working on the front of the cupcake liner but if you don't like the way the back looks you can always obviously dress it up prettier okay that's for that we have our image here we have a background here so I have here these two little circles that I already cut out out of uh, dictionary paper okay so let's build this baby together okay I'm gonna hot glue this um, dictionary circle onto the circle of my cupcake liner just like so okay let's take the other one and again the reason why I'm using new um, dictionary pages is because it gives it a little bit more of the vintage look and it gives more of like like a um like more interest to the embellishment i think in my mind i think okay so that's that that's what we're gonna have that looks cute already see that how cute that looks already okay so we're gonna actually apply well now remember i printed this out of regular you know printer paper so this is very light and very um delicate so 
you got two options either you can back this onto a, like a, a more uh more durable paper like i don't know maybe cardboard paper or maybe even like um just regular paper scrap paper um just to give it more stability and just to give it more of a heavier look if you want or you can keep it like this i'm gonna keep mine like this because that doesn't really bother me too much but i'm not using hot glue on these i'm gonna use double sided tape because remember the paper is very light and very thin and i think that the hot glue is going to definitely show through and it's gonna look really messy okay so i'm not adding any hot glue to my images i'm just adding some double sided tape to make it look more um better okay i have some ribbon here that i want to create some little flags Okay, so I have here this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous orange glittery ribbon that I got at the Dollar Tree. Regretting not getting more. I actually might have to go back and get a few more of these ribbons because I just love it so much. It is so sparkly, so cheerful. Look at that. Full of glitter is just gorgeous i don't know what possessed me to only get one of these ribbons okay so we have here two little flags um that's for one of the embellishments let's cut out actually let's use a different ribbon let's use black i have black here too hold on i just gotta find it here let's use black ribbon for the other embellishment just to give it a little bit of different look okay and yes yeah, you can see here I'm just I'm just eyeballing it I'm not measuring anything you guys know me about measurings and you should know that I hate it so I'm just eyeballing it okay all right so that's for that this is for this perfect so what we're gonna do is we're going to add our ribbon okay and we're going to position our ribbon where how have how we want it so i think i'm going to put mine actually i think this is too long so let me trim it a little bit okay so i'm going to put this one roughly hmm, i think around here okay let's use some hot glue okay and then this one we're gonna add right there okay that's for one and then this we're gonna put in the center that's perfect for this one we're gonna do something a little bit different okay i want to add some of these little um ribbons that i have okay as you can see here here let me show you the actual ribbon oh they look like this okay we're going to add some of this ribbon behind our circle and we're going to wrap it around a few times okay so that's one time and about two times and then we're going to secure it one end with hot glue okay so the end that finishes just add a little bit of double hot glue and just tuck this in okay and then for the other end we'll do the same thing as well tuck it in a little bit of hot glue done okay there we go and done okay and then you should get something like this see that and now we're going to add our image to the front. Before we do that, let's add our little flag. So I want my flag to look something like this. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay. 
something like that. That looks just about right. And now we're going to add our image. I'm using double-sided tape again because I don't want to really use hot glue on this kind of paper. And we're going to add it, making sure that the newspaper does peek out. Okay? See that? How cute is that? Oh my God, I love it. Let's do the other one. so cute I absolutely love this image look how cute that looks guys how adorable does that look I just love it and I'm not even gonna put googly eyes because you know me I'm googly eye crazy I love putting googly eyes on everything but you know why because it's so like vintage looking and it's just so pretty I'm just leaving it alone I think just leaving it alone and just in itself it just looks so pretty it just looks so gorgeous okay so I'm basically done. The only one more thing I want to do is I want to add some really cute bows to these. I want to use a different kind of bow on this one. I have here some of this gorgeous ribbon that I want to make a cute bow out of. So let's cut a little piece here. Okay, all of this gorgeous ribbon. I love this ribbon. Okay. And I'm gonna con I'm gonna try to make a bow. Let's see how long it's gonna take me. I'm not really good at making bows, but I'll try. I will try. There we go. Ah, that wasn't so bad. Ah, look at that. That was not so bad. Okay, see that little tiny bow. All right, so let's attach our bow to our embellishment and then guess what? We're basically done. So the first one I'm gonna attach is gonna be right there. So I'm gonna use some hot glue. I'm gonna attach this in the center. I'm gonna hold it down for a few seconds while I'm drinking some coffee. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, done. Let's do this one. I'm gonna add this cute little tiny bow right in the center as well. I love these images, they're just so pretty. So I have a trick for you. Let's say that you don't have color printer, right? And let's say for some reason your printer only prints black and white. That's okay, my loves, no problem. What you're gonna do is you're gonna print your image in black and white, and then you're gonna go over the image very lightly with a sponge with your inks, okay? You can do orange, you can do purple, you can do whatever color you want. And that will actually give your image a pretty color. It won't look so like just black, it'll look a combination of black and other colors and it'll give you that effect of the images having some kind of um at least color in them okay so that's just a small little tip that i have for you if you don't have a color printer okay see jenny always has your back i'm always thinking because not everybody has a color printer right all right, I'm just doing my last few adjustments on my embellishment before I am done. This is gorgeous. I love it. And I think we're done, loves. I think that's basically how I really love this. That is how I want my embellishments to look. So here's the outcome of this embellishment. This is so cute, isn't it? I really love this one with the twine, with the, with the, this is so adorable. With the twine on it, the bow, it's so cute. And this, this cat is just adorable. 
So here we did this one together, okay? We used the ribbon, we used the twine, very simple. This one we did together as well. We used the glitter paper with some cute bow and it just looks adorable. It looks so pretty. Now I wanna show you one that I created before. I created this earlier, okay? And this is super cute too. It's the same thing. The only difference is I added these two little uh, flags over here. And I have the ribbon that says Happy Halloween. Just to give it a nice festive look. Right? And then this one is the same thing. I just added the cute little twine bow with the glittery paper. Alright honeys. Uh, let me come up close so you can see. So I hope you guys like this video. I know, I know, so many embellishments. You're probably going to get tired of me making embellishments, but I just love them. I think they're just so adorable. They're so cute to make. I don't know, I might use these for my Halloween card that I want to mail out to some of my family, some of my friends and family, but I'm not sure. I will do a video though. Once I decide what card I'm going to use, I'll definitely do a video with you guys and I will show you what card I'm going to be using or what card I'm going to be creating for my friends and family for Halloween. Okay, honeys? All right, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think about these really cute embellishments. I will link the, um, the blog where I was able to print out these images. I'll link that at the bottom of this video so you guys can go hop on there and check out her blog she has really lots of nice um crafty ideas and a lot of printouts that you can um print from her blog okay so i'll link that at the bottom of this video make sure you guys thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe and let me know what you think about these adorable vintage embellishments all right honeys have a fantastic day i will see you guys on my next video. Bye!